Cradle Post NRM works with communities to look after coasts, water and land. And we're here, been here for the last five days to help the community um, clean up Macquarie Harbour. It's about actually caring for not only the environment, but teaching our children the right and wrong things to put into the waterways, how to dispose of things properly, recycling. Uh, Strawn is a, a tourist hotspot. Um, it's actually really treasured by the locals and treasured by, the, um, by tourists um, from international, from overseas and it, it's, we need to maintain that so we've actually got a, a good economic um, outcome as well as an environmental outcome. When you start doing a, a work like that, a lot of people come and ask, well, what are you guys doing here? You know, very, a lot of people are interesting. I believe it's a very touristic point, you know, and who would like to go for a holidays and have a lot of rubbish floating around? I'm sure that it's going to actually um, involve much more of the community and the community are going to want to become involved because they're going to be able to see positive results from it. All kids love getting dressed up in gumboots and you know walking in water so they lasted about you know two and a half hours which I didn't think they would last. Um, they were very sort of conscious and sort of asked questions as to you know why is this can in the water or you know why is this bit of plastic there so I think teaching kids at a young age about being respectful of the environment is, is, is a key message we need to get across. Um, I'm surprised by the amount of just domestic debris. I didn't expect that many bottles, cans that are obviously around the township and just general waste uh, that people have dumped. So I think there just needs to be really an awareness campaign. When you live in special areas, we don't want to be um, having our wildlife and our seabirds, our shorebirds, getting rope around their necks and, and rope in their guts. And we are a fishing town. And if the children are riding their bikes around the walking path and they see a little piece of rope, pop it in your pocket and that could be one bird you've saved. Uh, for Strawn Village, it's been great to be part of um, the community cleanup and really get involved and you know, get out there, gumboots, a bit cold, um, but actually pick up, um, pick up rubbish and actually find out what's causing um, our, our build up of rubbish along the, the beautiful foreshore that we have directly, directly behind me. Uh, the area that has been covered includes um, land-based teams, so they've been doing the township of Strawn, uh, King River, uh, Ocean Beach and uh, water-based teams which has been going out with the um, aquaculture farms, with Tassel, with Petuna and with Hewan and doing the more remote beaches. Parks and wildlife have already been going out and so the strong volunteer um, component has been Conservation Volunteers Australia and Wild Care Volunteers. When we was working at Ocean Beach, we took over two kilometres of beach and you become like, oh, which kind of thing you're going to collect? Just the, the biggest ones or the smallest ones? But at the same time, you need to, to imagine that, you know, how long the, each one of these um, rubbish takes to, to the composing environment and which kind of fauna uh, it is impacting, you know, with seabirds, with even mammals. <laughs> So finding something like this really shows how important the marine debris cleanup is. This is an absolute wildlife nightmare. It'll catch birds, platypus, fish, anything, and it'll just float around for years and continue to kill. To find this right down the bottom of the harbour in the World Heritage Area was a real shock, but it's so good to get it cleaned up. It'll be 50 metres long and it's probably been floating around for a fair while. Uh, we're trying to cover as much ground as, as we can. The main focus of this area is into the World Heritage Area um, and outside the areas that we usually clean. So we usually, we've already got allocated shorelines within the harbour that we clean twice a year, but there's large sections that have never been uh, cleaned up at all. So the idea of getting all the involvement and the help from the Conservation Volunteers Australia and uh, Parks and Wildlife and Wild Care is to try and identify areas within the World Heritage Area, uh, in the Gordon River, Kelly Basin, Birches Inlet, um, where rubbish is ending up, and to try and, so that we can focus on getting it cleaned up, finding out where the rubbish has come from, and stopping it from happening.
we're documenting what's actually being found here. So every beach area um, has actually got, um, we, we, um, we're drilling down to the number of ropes, number of plastic bottles, number of cans, number of aquaculture waste, uh, and number of unusual items as well. So all that will go back to the office um, and go into a database, and then we'll work with CSIRO to determine strategies <coughs> to uh, best address those the majority of the sources of marine debris. I believe that's very important what we're doing. It's a pilot for, for the next years. The area has never been cleaned up to this extent before. Um, it's a massive exercise. We're finding we're actually probably um, collecting a lot more ropes and plastic than we ever envisaged. But then again, we've also got a lot of um, historical debris and um, just general rubbish. So tyres and wood <laughs> and unusual bits and pieces. Some of the rubbish is uh, international rubbish, unfortunately, because of the, you know, the maritime currents and trade winds. Most of this rubbish is blown to the west coast of Australia. Macquarie Harbour to the Hell's Gate such a no straight instant there and everything comes growing and hard to get out again. And we've been cleaning up 80 kilometres of shoreline. Today is day five, we're getting a bit tired, but we um, have probably achieved 90% of our target at the moment. Um, and today we're sorting again. Um, we've already uh, taken 35 cubic metres to the, to the landfill and still going.